Hey there, Jets fans. Well, uh, week eight is in the books after a 24-10 loss to the Bears. That's two straight losses now for the Jets. And, uh, you know, the, the offense really was the story of the day in this one. Uh, you know, Sam Darnold and, and the entire offense just struggled to ever get anything going. They couldn't get in sync. They had no sort of rhythm. Uh, you know, the depleted wide receiver core seemed like a big issue. Uh, not having Spencer Long, the, the offensive line just didn't seem to be clicking. The running game didn't work very well without Bilal Powell. But, you know, the, all of these things, I mean, the great quarterbacks in the NFL are able to to kind of kick things into gear and get things started and really force the issue when their team isn't doing well and, and they need a, you know, it's a snap out of a lull. And right now, I mean, it, there are so many questions about Sam Darnold and what he needs to do to develop. And But one of the things that he's going to have to do somewhere along the line is become that kind of guy that can, you know, wear the burden and carry his team on his shoulders and, and kind of do that extra bit to get his team going on offense. You know, he, he's not that guy right now. He's a rookie, and obviously the pieces around him aren't great. But if you're looking for things for, for Sam Darnold to, to kind of look for over the back half of this season and going beyond that, you know, if you believe that Sam Darnold can be a franchise-changing kind of quarterback, at some point along the line, that's one of the game, the the parts of his games that's going to have to develop. At some point along the line, he's going to have to become the kind of guy that can – grab control of the game, and really kind of shake his offense to life when they need it the most, uh, you know, get it done in crunch time. There's been a handful of games this year. I mean, the Dolphins game comes to mind. Today obviously comes to mind. Uh, you know, the Browns game comes to mind. E even to some extent the, the game in Week 7 against the Vikings where the Jets were hanging around, hanging around. They had chances to either win the game late, tie the game late. They were, they were right there, and they just needed, you know, one big drive, one big possession. And they just couldn't quite seem to get it. And at some point, if Sam Darnold is going to become one of the NFL's elite quarterbacks, he's going to become that kind of guy that can, you know, seize that opportunity and make the most of it when it comes around. Uh, you know, it's still early. I mean, it's eight games into his career, and he's young, and the offense around him is banged up right now. There's plenty of mitigating factors, but uh, like I was saying, just just keep an eye on that. That's one of those things that somewhere along the lines, if the Jets are going to have Sam Darnold become the guy that they think he is, that's one of the things he's going to have to develop somewhere along the way here.